Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I have been asked to do an eyelash tutorial. I also did a poll on my Instagram and the majority of people said yes to do this. I feel like I would have done it anyways. I kind of want to start incorporating other parts of my life on my channel because I love plants, but plants is not my entire life, even though it is a big part of my life. These are not eyelash extensions. I actually put on false lashes every single day. I used to apply my eyelashes from the top, but now I do it on the bottom. Like if I lift up this right now, you can see that I applied it from the bottom. And it's seriously a game changer. It makes the eyelashes look so much more natural. If you put your eyelashes on from the top, you can see the lash line, but because I do it from the bottom, you can't. I used to have eyelash extensions last month, I think. I think it was last month. I had eyelash extensions for the first time. I did one eyelash extension and then a refill and it obviously costs more than doing false lashes every day because I'm able to reuse the false lashes. I loved the person that I went to for the eyelash extensions but having eyelash extensions in itself I feel like I was not sleeping as well because I didn't want to like accidentally rub my eye in my sleep which I have done before when I had the extensions and I woke up in a panic thinking I ripped them all out. Doing it this way I don't ever have that weird awkward period you know when the eyelash extensions start to fall out and you have like weird ones in all different directions before you get your next refill this way prevents all of that i'm saving money and i'm actually able to rub my eye at the end of the day i just take them off and i'm able to just wash my face normally i don't have to be careful around my eyes with that all being said i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this tutorial please excuse the appearance i'm looking a little rough because i just woke up but i'm gonna show you exactly how i do my eyelashes every single day so i'll just start off with the one that i use and these are the ardell demi wispies i like the demi wispies opposed to the normal wispies because it looks more natural if you can see just how the lashes are i think the wisp Wispies, it just is the same length all throughout or something like that and that's a little bit intense for me this comes in a pack of five and I'll link it in the description below I think a pack of five is only like $11.99 and I'm able to reuse the lashes over and over again the current pair that I'm on pair right here I have been using for <laughs> I think over three weeks now so you can see how cost-effective that really is yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get started this plastic thing is just the lid to this so I put the lashes in there I also used this glue this is duo and it's a really strong glue this method I have tested in the Philippines and if you know anything about the Philippines it's extremely hot and humid I went to a wedding where we were in a tent without any AC and my makeup and lashes just stayed on the entire time that says a lot I trust this glue this one is the dark tone one so it basically dries black I have a mirror right here but I normally just stand looking at the mirror and I lift my eyelash up and do it but for filming sake I had to do it this way so because I used to put the eyelashes on from the top instead of from the bottom like under the lash line I used to put the glue on a different spot this is the lash this is how it's supposed to go I'm gonna put the glue on the very top instead of coming from the side if that makes sense pretend this is my lid I'm gonna kind of put it on like that and because of that I want the glue to be on the top this is why I'm not a beauty guru <laughs> it's really important to make sure that you're getting the middle part you're getting enough glue you don't want a crazy amount of glue but you need enough obviously if you want your lashes to stay on I've never had any issues with my lashes coming off and I was doing this every single day in the Philippines make sure you put enough in the middle and then the sides you don't want it to start coming off and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other lash like this method takes me a few minutes to get ready in the morning so that's enough glue and I'm putting it back in the tray I'm gonna grab the first lash. I hope you're gonna be able to see. I need to move this plant. <laughs> I'm in an awkward spot to be doing this. Make sure you don't put it too close to this part because then if your lash comes further out than your eye, it's gonna make your eye look droopy. Some people actually cut it. I don't cut it. I just slap it on. That depends on your eye shape as well and how big your eyes are. I'm gonna hold it from the middle. Hold my eyelid up like that. Sorry, this is really weird looking, but you're gonna put it at the bottom of the lash line. You're not gonna put it too closer to your eye. Like, you don't want it touching your eye. It's obviously gonna irritate it. So come in like this, and I hope you're able to see. And I use my other finger to just make sure it adheres.
And then I'm going to use my finger to kind of push it up and make sure that it's in the right spot. That's one eyelash. I was not looking at the viewfinder, so I really hope you were able to see that. But I'm going to do it the same thing on the other side. I love this method because when I look down, you cannot, well, once the glue dries, you can't see the actual strip. And that's why a lot of people think I have eyelash extensions, which I used to, but I don't like not being able to touch my eyes. Obviously, it takes practice. If you are someone who's never used falsies before, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. But if you've been doing it on the top, I think it should be a little bit easier. But it takes some practice if you're doing a completely new method. So I'm just going to hold my lid up again. And it goes right at the bottom of the lash line. I really hope that you are able to see that angle. If not, then I hope my directions were kind of clear. That's the majority of my routine. So I already had some sunscreen on and I don't have any concealer on right now. So because of my under eye bags that I've had since I was a little kid, I am gonna put it on so I can cover that up. But that's it with the lash part. When I had eyelash extensions, I think I pretty much looked the same. This is Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I am just gonna put this on the bottom. It hides a little bit, I guess. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. So it's the waterproof one. And I love Tarte because they have natural products and it works really well. So I'm just going to put this on the bottom. That is my entire day-to-day -day routine. That's all I do in terms of makeup. I don't do anything else unless I'm going to like a wedding. Then I, I'll do the eyeshadow. As I've gotten older, I wear less makeup. So I used to wear a ton of makeup when I was in high school. Just everything. And it would take me like an hour to get ready. So my entire makeup routine, day to day, going to work and everything, normally takes me about five minutes if I'm not having to explain how to do it. So this one obviously took longer. I love how simple it is. With more practice, the faster you are able to do your lashes. Now that I've shown you how to do this, I'm going to cut to when we went to a plant shop and saw a lot of rare plants. Some of the plants I've never seen in person, so that was really exciting to see. There are a lot that were on my plucket list. This one is 85, I think. Silver Sword, I have it at home though. But... Oh, this one doesn't have a price on it. This one does. Yeah, this one's 85. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm blanking out on the name of this one. It's Philodendron. I just repotted mine. The Philodendron Birkin. It's been on my list. This one's not as white as the one over there, but it's 95. This is a really nice. Yeah, this one's a really pretty one. And then they have this is the Tiffany 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 Constellation. Tiffany How much is this one? This is 220. Oh, the very easy one. It's $150. That one's 300 for the Thai Constellation. This is the Glorious for 125. Oh, look at the Tetrasperma. This is the Rapidophora Tetrasperma. It's not for sale though. It's a sample one. It's so cute. It's from um, this one is gorgeous. Is the Betty so the much Betty white on it. Wait, how much is this? 125 for this Birkin. And this is like the Spa Peru for 85. I used to have one of these and then I got rid of it because I got sick of it. I didn't want to take care of it anymore. That one's 22 for that Colombia. Oh, it has like the pink on it. These are like the more common ones over here. Like ones, normal ones are identical And then the Jahoyas. Ooh. Wow. Look how big is these. Size of my hand. That one's pretty. Peperomia Frost. 22 for this uh, Syndapsis Pictus. Hoya Cartii for 32. Oh! Bunch of little whale things for 45. $30. It's really cute though. The single leaf one. 
So I am going to be doing my first giveaway ever and this giveaway is on my Instagram. It's for my one year anniversary of being on Instagram. I started my Instagram on August 1st of 2018. This is just a thank you for those who have been following me for a long time. There is going to be a photo over on my Instagram about the giveaway. The rules are all on there but for five extra entries be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and comment down below your Instagram handle and Minimalist Cali giveaway. So that will be in the description below. I wanted to do more chances for the people who actually watch my YouTube videos. Yeah, so the main portion of it will be on my Instagram, but this is for five extra entries. Now I will be cutting it. I have only cut this variegated Montero one time, and that's when I did my swap with Mish. The place I cut it before was here, and then it sprouted this over here. So I'll be giving this part away. So right here is the brand new leaf that unfurled it comes with this other part too so a smaller leaf so i'll be giving this part of it away it has a little node that is starting to grow right here and then i'm gonna cut right below this node so then you'll have to it's gonna probably be unrooted when it comes but i'm gonna start propagating it right now and then i'll have the giveaway run for two weeks so it'll give it some time to grow some roots. I'm not going to guarantee that it'll have roots when it's shipped. I'm going to go ahead and cut it now. This is going to be an incredibly weird angle because I have no one to help me right now. I'm going to sanitize the scissors first. These are just alcohol wipes. This right here is the cutting I'll be giving away. And there is the node right there. And then there's another node right there. And there's eventually going to be new growth that comes from this one. So if you want to win that, go ahead and find the post on my Instagram and then also comment below for more entries. So today was a flush day for my plants in semi hydroponics and I just mixed some nutrients. So I'm actually going to use these nutrients for now to stick this plant in and I'm going to dilute it a little bit because those nutrients are mixed for my plants that already have roots. So because this is unrooted, I'm going to go ahead and just dilute it. I am not going to be propagating this in LECA. I'll just stick it straight in water. I mean, I could do LECA. I'm just not going to do it. When I send it out, it'll be wrapped in some sphagnum moss at the base. Here, I just have a glass vase. Maybe like one third the nutrients just because there's some nutrients again this is not completely necessary could just be straight water but I'm gonna stick this in here because it is a monstera i'm sure it's gonna have no issues rooting but it's a variegated monstera so it might take longer to root so that's why i'm not guaranteed that it's gonna come with roots it's so cute the reason why i have the water level like that is because i want the top node to also root. This is a close-up of the leaf, if you can see the variegation there. This is the little baby leaf. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning part of this vlog. I was kind of nervous to do something different because I feel like I started off this entire journey of Minimalist Cali as just a place for me to show lifestyle things obviously minimalism i haven't really continued much with that can't really just because of the temporary apartment we're in right now it's not actually my place when we move to our new home i'm excited to show other things that i like like home decor um, and getting the place together because i mean we've been going to places like going look to look at couches already and i think we found our couch if you like this kind of stuff if you liked the beginning part of the video then please let me know and let me know if there's any other non-plant related stuff you would like to see i have gotten some ideas already and i had a list of video ideas and I'm pretty excited about it. I am actually very into YouTube now because when I started off, I was more into Instagram. There are some DIYs I want to do with my roommate. I actually convinced her to be in a video with me, so that'll be fun. Because now she's turning into a crazy plant lady. And so she has her own pluck it list going. I really need to go to the gym because I have been stalling. I have actually been working with my plants all morning. And then when I was almost done, I had to spend even more time. I dropped everything, but that's the kind of the story of my life. Yeah, I'm gonna head out to the gym now.